I find interventional radiology exciting because it's a very innovative field. There's always new tools and new procedures that are being created. You're treating patients of all ages with all sorts of pathologies. You see a problem on imaging and then you try and think about how to fix it. You know the technique, you know what tools you have, and you get to use those and your plan to fix the patient's problem. One of the biggest advantages of training at a place like Columbia is that it's part of New York Presbyterian, which is one of the top hospitals in the country, constantly getting a diverse patient population with diseases that are one in a million. It's very rare to be able to read one day about a condition in a textbook and literally see it the next day in real life. And we're able to teach our fellows and residents in a way that allow them to progress rapidly by putting all of what they read to immediate use. We have a dedicated pediatric hospital and we have a dedicated pediatric interventional radiologist. When I started we offered three days a week scheduled pediatric IR procedures and but we were able to expand to five days a week and it's really really exciting to be a part of a growing program and we bring our trainees into each part of that. There's also a downtown outpatient clinic where we can practice in more of a private practice type model. Our outpatient center in particular is sort of pushing the cutting edge of what can be done at an outpatient center. So we get to do biopsies and minor procedures, but also complex arterial cases, and the patients get to go home right after the case. I always tell trainees that it's to be a really, really good IR, you need to be a really, really good DR. The IRDR residents are an integral part of the diagnostic radiology team for the first three years. That being said, the IR training here starts on day one. We have a book club, we have a journal club, didactic sessions, case studies. We meet for drinks or to go to a restaurant, and it's a good way for us to catch up, but also it's an educational event that's taken out of the hospital and supposed to be much more you know, friendly and social. And they're all really invested in us, at, not just as residents, but as people. Having everybody progress at their own pace is what's important to us, and we give very tailored teaching. Then we give them slow but sure ability to progress in the procedure starting from tiny basic building blocks all the way up to doing the whole procedure by themselves with under our supervision. It's an amazing feeling seeing a resident come in and barely knowing what a catheter is and then seeing them graduate ready to take care of patients with the complex procedures and disease processes that we treat. It's very rewarding and it's why most of us choose to work at an institution like this where we get to work with residents day in and day out.